to something more along the lines of Argentina. In other words, the Obamas are transforming America from a constitutional republic into a shell of itself. So here's Michelle Obama once again polluting the minds of yet another graduating class. This time Oberlin College, the first lady flies into Oberlin, Ohio, her staff sets up her teleprompter, and voila, another America is bad and we must change her speech is ready to unfold. Think about how even with all the gridlock and polarization in Washington, we have made so much change these past six years. Twelve million new jobs. 16 million people who finally have health insurance, historic agreements to fight climate change, epic increases in college financial aid, more progress on LGBT rights than any time in our history. And today, it is no longer remarkable to see be two beautiful black girls walking their dogs on the South Lawn of the White House. That's just the way things are now. See, graduates, this is what happens when you turn your attention outward and decide to brave the noise and engage yourself in the struggles of our time. The struggles of our time. That's just the way things are now. This woman is fighting a civil war in this country that doesn't exist. It's astounding. It's as if 700,000 Americans did not die in an effort to end slavery. It's as if blacks are not treated equally in America. This kind of hate speech is aimed at white America. Clearly, the Obamas are racist. Now, just for the record, Michelle, 12 million jobs lie. It's a phony number. Many of the Obama jobs that were created are part-time. By the way, the number should be more like 20 million jobs over six years. 16 million people have health care? Lie. Six million tops through Obamacare. Climate change? The big lie. It's about annexing more liberty and not about saving the planet. Student loans? A $1.2 trillion bubble, an Obama boondoggle, that's about to burst. But... Is it just me, or are the Obamas becoming more angry and more arrogant with each passing day? This much is clear. The election results of 2014 in November meant absolutely nothing to the Obamas. Win or lose, it did not matter. The president repeatedly said, quote, this is my last election. Indeed, since last November, the Obamas are clearly ruling over us based on their radical will and not the will of we the people. This edition of the Daily Ledger is now on its way to the Archives and Library of Congress. Thank you for watching. I'm Graham Ledger.